occurred on I-94 near Galesburg in Kalamazoo County. At least 193 vehicles were involved, injuring 23 people and killing one person. The crash highlighted a significant danger along I-94, prompting State Senator Margaret O'Brien to request a complete study on a section of the highway and recommendations for possible changes. Today, details of that safety audit will be released to the public, and here to tell us more is Senator O'Brien. They will be publicly released uh, at 11 this morning, but we know what is in this audit, this report. Uh, what did they learn? Well, they studied a stretch of 143 miles from Indiana, where 94 starts, in Michigan, all the way to western Jackson County. And what really stood out to me is when it comes to your major accidents, Kalamazoo County and Van Buren County lead the pack. So the report does a detailed analysis over multiple years where the accidents tend to happen and what we can do in the future. What about Kalamazoo and Van Buren County? I mean, I would think lake effect snow often happens a lot in those areas, but, but what, why in those areas are crashes happening, uh, more serious crashes happening? Well, you hit it right, the nail on the head with Van Buren County. Lake effect is a huge issue. In Kalamazoo County, what's interesting is there's several different points along 94 where there's accidents at mile marker 75, which is the 131 interchange. And we hope that with the newer expanded interchange going forward, we'll see fewer accidents. But then you see from Sprinkle Road all the way east to Calhoun County, there's a number of accidents where we don't tend to get as much lake sure. effect. But we know that having concrete medians that are right there close to the road are an issue. And then we also know that with you've got the on the other side of the road that the road tends to go down much more and so they've identified some of these areas combined with it being two lanes there's more accidents and when a single car accident happens it's tough to deal with that individually without causing more accidents and you're talking about some specific spots where maybe a lane could be added but we know something like that would cost money um, is there going to be a will to pay for something like that. You know, this is really about long-term planning. We know that we're going to need a third lane. And so what this report does is it identifies some short-term objectives. They've noticed that some of the problem areas, they, they have what they call low friction. So they can apply a high friction surface, which a number of those areas they'll do in 2016 and 2018. But then long-term, it takes 10, 15, 20 years to plan for an extra lane for as many stretches along 94 yeah. that have been identified. How soon? Would certain changes, are, are there some things we'll see right away that can be done quickly? I mean, we think construction obviously is not the case, but will we notice anything differently this winter or in, in winters in the next year or two related to I-94? Sprinkle Road interchange has been a particular problem, especially with having the concrete median there. So they've, they're hoping that with the new design and layout, yes. that that problem area will be alleviated right away. We're probably not going to see as much over this winter cycle in the other problem areas going east. But they are identifying for 2016 areas where they can have crash investigation sites, get people off the road to continue traffic. And then next year, we've got at 40th Street that that interchange will be redone where you've got a lot of truck traffic trying to merge. And they've identified that those merge lanes are way too short for trucks. Sure, but I guess the highlight, Kalamazoo and Van Buren County trouble spots. A lot of us knew that on I-94, but that's what will come out of this report when it's released this morning. Uh, State Senator Margaret O'Brien, thanks for being here this morning. We appreciate it. My pleasure.